After that, I did not talk about it because the story was not about me. What that was was an example of what the protesters were dealing with. We were in a place where the media had told us, where the police told us that the media should be. He came around the corner and was very aggressive. It was interesting because I woke up this morning to an email of this video in my of this video in my email and other CNNers as well. We vetted it. I immediately called the head of the St. Louis County, the head of uh, St. Louis County Police, the Chief John Belmer. He came. He dealt with the situation. Came out to me and spoke to me about it. But first, I want you to hear some of these inflammatory statements that this officer made. He is a 35-year veteran of the St. Louis County Police Department. Uh, he has now been relieved of his duty. He's going to have to undergo a psychiatric examination. And there's more that the chief will explain when you hear that. But this is him talking about what people who are involved in domestic violence should do. When the inner cities start to ignite, people are going to start killing people they don't like. And I'm going to warn the ladies on something. And this always gets me in trouble, but I've got to tell you. This domestic violence stuff... Every time a man turns around and gets jammed up by his wife on this, you are heading for troubles, ladies. A man can be arrested now for domestic property damage, domestic peace disturbance, domestic destruction of property, so forth and so forth. And so how can you do that in your own house? You can, you can be arrested for domestic trespassing. I've seen people with lines down the middle of the house. Stupid. If you don't like each other that much, just kill each other and get it over with. Problem solved. Get done. Don't, don't be wasting cops' time. Just shoot each other and get it over. He goes, on to talk, he goes on to talk about President Obama being from Kenya. He also says more disparaging things about women, about women in the military, uh, about gays. And there's so much as an hour uh, worth of inflammatory comments. He talks about, he speaks out against affirmative action. So when I saw this videotape and I saw the link to it, I sent it to the chief of the St. Louis County Police, John Belmer. He immediately responded and ran over here to speak to us. Here he is. Mr. Police Chief, it's embarrassing when you find out about stuff like this. It was uploaded in April, but I don't do Facebook. I don't I don't surf YouTube, but, right. you know, so these things can be difficult to unearth at times. Can I read something to you? This is a part of your code of conduct, and it says police officers will behave in a manner which does not bring discredit to their agencies or themselves. The police officer's character and conduct while off-duty must always be exemplary, and then it goes on, thus maintaining a position of respect in the community. That's an outstanding statement. Does that do that? His statements do that? Not at all. They're not indicative of, again, of the St. Louis County Police Department. Um, they're not indicative of the officers that uh, he works beside, and frankly, he's let them down. And... Uh, the internal aspect of this investigation, the internal affairs, that's not the hard part. Uh, I think the uh, the issue with it is uh, we have to be able to hear from me, uh, apologize to the community, anybody who's offended by these remarks, that, and, and understand from me that, that, again, he does not represent the rank and file of the St. Louis County Police Department. You're apologizing for the remarks? The I am to anybody who was offended by that, certainly. It's you mentioned embarrassed. Are you embarrassed by this? Yeah, because you know what? I joined this police department 28 years ago because it was a professional organization. Um, I believe today that it still is, but that professionalism can always be perishable, and I never want to walk away from that. So again, a 35-year veteran of the police department, his name is Dan Page. He was a sergeant major in the Army. He's been on nine deployments approximately 18 months each, 2000, 2003, 2008, 2011. He was deployed and, and at other times. Um, and as you heard the chief say, this is an embarrassment. What he was more, con what he was, he was concerned about all of it. But he said the thing that gets him as a police officer is when this, uh, this, uh, this officer talks about killing people indiscriminately and, and really appeared to be glorifying killing people. Here he is talking about it. I personally believe that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior, but I'm also a killer. I've killed a lot, and if I need to, I'll kill a whole bunch more. If you, want, if you don't want to get killed, don't show up in front of me. That's up. I have no problems with it. God did not raise me to be a coward. It's so disturbing to hear that, especially coming from a uh, member of the police department, especially considering what just happened here with Michael Brown, and then also the other uh, incident in, in St. Louis City with the, the man who was, who was killed. To think about an officer saying, you know, if you don't want to be killed, don't come in front of me. 
It is explosive, it is inflammatory, it is disheartening, and I asked the chief, I said, this is confirmation to many that there may be members of this police department who have the same sort of attitude as this officer, and he said he didn't, he hoped that that was not true, but it's certainly understandable, Brianna, if people wonder about that, especially since this tape is out there, and he has to, at some point, have expressed some of his views to someone yeah. he works with. We don't work around people. It's not in a vacuum. Yeah. I know a little bit about my colleagues and their views just from being around them every day. If it was tolerated by those around him, big question. Don Lemon in Ferguson, thanks so much. And just a reminder that, uh, or something I want to tell our viewers, we've reached out to that officer, Dan Page. He has not responded to our request for comment. Uh, as you saw, his police department is apologizing. They've re relieved him of duty. Um, and I also want to mention that the group that he spoke with, which is called Oath Keepers, has told CNN that Dan Page is not a member, that he was an invited guest speaker. We're joined now by Congressman Emanuel Cleaver of Missouri. Uh, Congressman, first, uh, thanks for joining us. And, and first, just tell us your reaction to what you heard there. Well, I, um, I, I was mayor of Kansas City. I was the head, uh, the president of the police board at, at one point. Uh, most police officers are good and decent people, the overwhelming majority of them. Uh, it, we, we shouldn't be completely surprised to know that uh, they are infiltrated, like all other professions, with some people who, frankly, are sick. I mean, listening to this officer, uh, a lot of people might feel anger. I, I felt pity because I think he's a, he's a sick person. It is also foolish for us to believe that uh, there are not others who think that way. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure there are. And it's going to be the responsibility of, of people like the chief there uh, to get rid of those people as quickly as they can. Yeah, it only takes just one person who feels that way. Um, I, I also want to talk to you about an issue that is very important to you. Uh, a lot of military equipment that has been going from the Defense Department to uh, police departments across the country. You actually met with Defense Secretary Hagel yesterday to talk about this. What changes specifically are you hoping that the Pentagon will make? Well, we had a good meeting uh, yesterday with uh, Secretary Hagel. Uh, he understands the problem. He's, he's been in the Senate. He actually voted uh, on the, what's called the 1033 program, 